Good afternoon. Uh, I want to provide some follow-up information on the deputy-involved shooting last night in Miramar Beach. Uh, Walton County Sheriff's Office dispatch received numerous calls from businesses there along Point Siena and Highway 98. Let me orient you a little bit. That's uh, around the area of the Whataburger, the uh, gas station of Five Guys, and then the Waffle House. So right there adjacent to U.S. Highway 98. The initial call was there was a suspect armed with a firearm who was attempting to sell that firearm as well as selling drugs. Deputies arrived by 1043, so within about a minute of the initial call, they were making contact with the caller. Subsequently, two other calls came in during that time frame saying that the suspect was spotted with a firearm uh, in the immediate area. Deputies attempted to locate the subject in the area. About 11.35ish, something like that, they made contact with a suspect hiding in a dumpster behind uh, five guys. What happened next happened very, very quickly, which is as deputy sheriffs attempted to take the suspect into custody, that individual produced a firearm which he attempted to use against deputy sheriffs of the Walton County Sheriff's Office. Deputies had to take immediate action. That action resulted in that subject being shot on scene there. Um, he was immediately incapacitated. Now, and I think it's important to understand that our deputies immediately attempted to render life-saving aid. These deputy, one of these deputies is an emergency medical technician who also has trauma-related equipment there to assist in case of gunshot wounds. Deputies immediately began trying to render aid, waiting for members of medics from South Walton Fire District to uh, arrive on scene as well. The subject was pronounced dead on scene there. Here's what we know. We know that this occurred very, very quickly. The entire incident was captured in its entirety on body camera. I have viewed that body camera. I was on scene last night, and I am unequivocally in support of the action of my deputy sheriffs. They acted professionally, they acted courageously, and it is no doubt that their actions either saved the life of their fellow deputy and the potential risk to the public. There is zero doubt. I have seen hundreds of videos over the course of years. I've been involved in a number of these, and I can tell you without question, this is about a clear cut of an officer involved shooting as you're ever going to see. Now, at this point, uh, as, a, as a point of transparency, I reached out to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, asked them to provide an independent review of the actions of my organization. They agreed to do so. That's a pretty standard protocol. They all arrived on scene last night and started uh, taking a look and reviewing the actions. Again, while they are doing that, this will also simultaneously be investigated by our office. The findings of the Department of Law Enforcement will then be turned over to the state's attorney's office for review. But I will tell you, and I want to reiterate, that these actions, in my opinion, is so clear cut that the findings of those two organizations, I believe, will ultimately be perfunctory. Yeah. The reality of it is, this was a life-saving action. Now, there is no imminent threat to the public. This was a singular incident and involving an individual that we have previous knowledge of and we have dealt with on multiple occasions. The names of the suspect uh, is being held at, withheld at this time because of notification to family and other relatives. Our job now is to make sure that my deputies are taken care of. We're going, they're going to be placed on administrative leave. That is a very common uh, procedure. We want to make sure that they get checked out and that they are uh, taken care of. And, and then ultimately we'll return them back to duty. We're going to give as much information as we can, as freely as we can. But there's a couple of things that I just simply can't comment on. Because one of the things that I always, people always ask, well, how many rounds were fired? Who fired? Those types of things. The problem is if I say something and it's incorrect, it appears that I was intentionally incorrect. So better for us to wait, let the investigation be finished by the Department of Law Enforcement, and we will provide all those factual details. But I can tell you again very, very clearly and unequivocally, I support the actions of my deputy sheriffs. Uh, nobody wants this to ever happen. And contrary to what many people believe, there's nothing easy about taking someone's life even if it's the only option you have, even if it's in the self-defense of others, it is a life-altering decision that these men had to make. And I want you to understand this. They understood the risk 
of this profession. They knew this could happen, and they conducted themselves professionally, honorably, and with courage, and I'm proud that they serve for us. Thank you. We will continue to provide information as it becomes available. Uh, we ask that you keep the members of the Sheriff's Office uh, in your prayers and these two individuals specifically. Thank you.